Alright guys, so this Ultra RC video is the first episode of a year-long project of product prototyping. Let's crack right into it. Alright guys, so the more interactive we can make this process, the better the outcome is going to be of the whole thing. So the whole point of this is basically to share what I've made with you guys. I always make things from fire trucks to hovercrafts to crawlers to cars to planes to boats and all kinds of different things, but they're never recreatable. It's always hot glue and sticky tape, and it's not really something that you can enjoy as well. You can watch my videos and things, but you never get to actually get your hands on the remote and see the awesome things that I make. So my plan is to make something that's reproducible easily so that you can enjoy it as well. So, so this is what I want to make. It's a remote control skid steer bobcat. It's going to be totally awesome, it's going to be able to pick up, stand, move around, and it's going to be super reliable, so it's always there when you need it, and it's going to be super fun, it's going to be just an awesome bobcat, it's the awesomest bobcat that's out there, and it's only going to be the awesomest bobcat if you let me know how to make it the awesomest bobcat ever. So my plan is for this Ultra IC video, to take you outside, show you what this thing is all about, show you how I put it together, my plans for the next version, and then we're going to test it out at the back, we're going to see how it can drive around, how grippy is it, does it have enough power, is it going to be big enough, does it need to, do we need to change anything and just see how the performance of the base, basis of this thing is and then we're going to have another episode and hopefully you're going to watch that as well and you're going to see the improvements of how this thing's come along until it's going to be the awesomest product ever. So, let's take you outside and I'll show you what this thing's all about. Alright guys, so outside in all its glory, let me show you what's going on here. So basically we've got these four brushed 18 scale motors here, one for each wheel. They've got a little gearbox and go 90 degrees direct drive into the wheels. They've got a 12 millimeter hex so you can have any 10th scale wheel on there which is pretty awesome, super adaptable. I've been experimenting with different wheels. We've got two 3 cell 20 to 100 LiPo batteries there. I designed these red motor housings in Fusion 360, printed them on the, the ANET A8 and it's very adjustable because I got this aluminium strip here and I've got a few different ones so I can adjust the wheelbase. I've been experimenting with the size here to work out what how big does that need to be? Obviously the smaller the better the turning circle, but bigger we got more stability and whatnot, so we'll work that out. I've just got two ESCs, one for the left side, one for the right side, to work out if I've got enough power. I think I do, because these are just 18 scale motors and with these three cell batteries it's got plenty of power just to have two motors on each side. So I've got these little harnesses here. But anyway, these are plugged into channel one and two. We've got Elevon mix on there. So um, that gives us the mix with the Turner GR6 there. But basically that's all that's going on. Let's test this thing and see what it can do. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this awesome Ultra RC video. This project's going to go a long, long way, so definitely subscribe, notifications so you don't miss the next updates and episode 2 of this awesome series. Otherwise, like the video, you made it to the very end, but most of all, comment down below. I'm very interested to hear what you reckon of this project. If you reckon I, if you reckon I should make something entirely different, let me know. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you around later. Alright guys, if you only watch this video for the thumbnail, well, there's your seat. Thanks for watching. Isn't that awesome?